Hello and welcome to another video from ERPDrill.com. In this video, we'll be talking about the EHP4 SCM with uh, Transportation Management 9.3. Again, it's a brand new release, a brand new software, and uh, as usual, comes with the IDES version of EHP7. So, it's a it's a big release. Uh, it's a very big. Uh, uh, step 9.3 transportation management is very different from the 9.2 and the 9.0 in many ways and the SCM EHP4 uh, is also quite different so let's go ahead and look at all of this stuff there's the EHP7 SCM TM the first thing you do when you get the server is to make sure your IP address here matches the IPCO and FIG the adapter address okay so type IP config in CMD so that number must match the IP address Otherwise, you will have issues with uh, RFC and all of that stuff so the host file has to be updated so once that's done you right click all of these stuff here right click all task start I've done it all just to save time on the video and uh, as you can see here our um, our uh, our uh, releases are always very well configured so let's take a look at the the ECC, ECC HP7 IDIS again um, you can see that uh, the uh, again this is a VMware okay it's not a local machine it's running on virtual machines you can see your workstation open a new virtual machine it's a virtual machine okay so this performance is real time you can see here uh, the configuration has been done client 800 is the default client and a user is ID admin so it's all noted here so you only need the password which will be given to you on the email and uh, while that's logging in okay so let's go system status and uh, you can see that uh, the the license expires 22 you have a installation number and if you go into the components you can see it's all 740 which is the latest version available okay and you can see the installed product versions on IDAS is everything GTS 9 extended uh, GRC is installed so so many comp components are installed commercial auto ID infrastructure is installed uh, learning solution so uh, tons of stuff that's installed on this travel management add-on fury this is the additional stuff that we installed that is the fury x1 and x2 applications okay so those are installed by us and again the fury is configured so we will look into the front end the GUI side and then we'll go into the back end which is the fury side so all of this have fury so SCM001 is the default client and SCM user SCM USCR enter your password and it will log you in and you can see this is real time SGN has been run everything has been run for you and you can see here 7.5 this EHP version 4 Okay, you can see it's 7.1 and the package level is one very very important to know that we've updated this package again BI content is installed that is not it doesn't come with the system we've in installed it and uh, BI and uh, EWM 7.2 7.12 which is the default version that comes with uh, the EHP 4 so all of this stuff is installed uh, and configured SAP UI that's the user interface technology is there so we'll go into all that stuff uh, in the back end so from a basis perspective all of this stuff is uh, is installed okay launchpad designer launchpad so we'll go into the back end in a bit uh, before that we will go in and check TM 9.3 which is the main um, component here sorry I didn't enter the password so fully fully configured all of the stuff has been done for you as you can see over here okay all of these business functions are activated okay and uh, status again a lot of the stuff on uh, in transportation management again you can see here it is based on the 7.4 TM 9.3 is based on 7.4 e TM UI is a user interface you can see the patch level is 3 Okay, BI content, BI content extended is installed, which is necessary for this. And you can see SAP TM patch level 3, which is the latest version. Okay, now uh, SAP has released something called the application guide. These are for consultants 
who have or previous consultants version 9.2 or version 9 they have these application guides so I've in, we've given the application guide for 7.4 EHP 7.4 um, I'll just install that quick time the act okay so I've installed the um, Acrobat reader now so you can see um, the the course the guides what I'm talking about so this is the application usage guide so basically means that you all of this stuff uh, for APO I think this particular one is for advanced planning optimization and has in package for the latest version uh, on you know the notes that you need to do the configurations on the back end so you can see how to configure it uh, these are all uh, not uh, uh, basis stuff these are all um, functional stuff for the functional user so it'll say uh, some of the activities that you need to do and stuff like that so these are all functional stuff so this is there for transportation management as well so the usage guide for TM 9.3 as well you can see here that is the uh, uh, collaboration portal how to configure the collaboration portal setting up the collaboration portal so it has already been set up uh, configuration has all already been done but this is for additional functional stuff if you need to do something so again this is the application usage guide there's so you can see it's almost 1500 uh, and 11 pages you can see here SP03 okay it's the latest version and you can see business functions all basis stuff all these business functions as you saw on the front screen these are all been activated for you okay and freight order these are all some of these stuff is all uh, all uh, functional stuff how do you configure with the global trade and all of that stuff so okay so we'll, we'll go ahead and see the fury components of this again fury some of the TM is uh, mainly for the back end so I will go ahead and open it in Explorer and you can see here under favorites we have uh, bookmarked all of the things so first thing we'll go into the EHP 7 and uh, I'll open another tab go into SCM and I'll open another tab and I will go into the collaboration portal so um, okay so that's what happened to EHP 7 yeah so this is the SEM this is the EHP 7 so the I will log on to this one is SCM user SCM USCR okay log on and then finally the collaboration portal okay which is TM USCR okay so that's done okay so you can see here whatever is available is been uh, localized again you can you can add your own tiles okay from the tile catalogs and stuff again it's very simple if you know how to use fury you just go and activate the uh, the back end and then the tiles show up here so these are the ones that we've done for you and you can go ahead and do your so this is the back end for for uh, the ECC and then this is the back end for the um, the uh, SCM again add a catalog add a you can add your tile using the SICF SCIF and this is the freed manager this is where what needs the configuration and this you can see everything is done from your order management freed settlement agreement all of that stuff is coming from you and this transportation management is configured by RFC into SCM so all of that stuff is there so everything that's that's there is, is showing up here okay so that's the complete uh, package okay and again TM is installed with support package 3 alright guys so if you have any questions email us and uh, we will try and help you as best as possible thank you